Logan. And I'm Vince. And we're pretty sure you will so want us to recommend things. <laughs> that's that's good. I like that kind of a nice nice amalgam. You can you can tell we're uh, we're really excited about our new title. Uh, yeah. What in Rome recommend stuff? You think that's what they say? <laughs> um, yeah, obviously we're extremely comfortable with this new uh, with this new series. Vince, what do you recommend today? I'm recommending a box set, Saturday Night Live, the complete first season. That's right. I like this one. They come in two different kinds of packages. They have this one, which is uh, impossible to open for some reason. They have this one, it's which a selling point. <laughs> this is interesting packaging. They have a whole lot of cool in this one little package. It's just pretty. I think it's neat looking. And uh, it's uh, 75 through 76 that those years. So uh, the reason I'm recommending this, the reason I'm recommending this is because I would I'd like to think that people can go back and look at something that's uh, that's out of their time. And uh, if you really want to see something that'll give you a historical perspective, look at some sketch comedy. That's a good idea. And because uh, I've never thought about this, because you can go back and you can find a movie that is, uh, in some way, accessible to a modern audience. And you don't have to sit there and say, okay, I'm putting myself back at this time, because eventually you'll find something paced fast enough for you. I mean, even if they're all paced within but that time a, period. But it's not going to necessarily give you any history. Yeah. But when you go back and you look at that stuff, you'll find something that could potentially, you know, be satisfactory to your general modern standards. This, you have to have some historical perspective on. And, uh... I'm finding out that I know less than I thought I did. Well, a lot of humor is really timely. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you'll, 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 the audience will crack up about things, and you'll just be like, I don't know who that person is. I don't know what you're making fun of. So, right? Exactly. And that's why I think that it's interesting to go back and take a look at these. I don't necessarily think that uh, you need to own this. Sure. It's on Netflix, instant streaming. There's, there's lots of it on Netflix. In yeah. fact, there's loads of it on Netflix. Mm -hmm. They have stuff that's not even available on DVD. Oh, do they really? That's funny. It's ridiculous. They have like every season of SNL for instant streaming right now. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. It's amazing. But, uh... I've watched a couple of the uh, actor specials. You know, like the DVD releases where they give you like a bunch of sketches from one actor. Yeah. I've watched a couple of those on there. Um, if I, you're... I saw the Christopher Walken one. If you're doing with the Wii, punch in Saturday Night Live, the full thing. I know it's going to be tedious, cause S A T, but uh, Saturday Night Live, and then the word season, and then you'll get a series of seasons, and then you can put in the number for which one you want, because you only get two pages, and that's annoying. I hope they, uh, I hope they update that uh, that channel at some point. Yeah, the, the, the Wii channel, because not only does it only give you the two pages, but um, there are okay. In the I, this is off topic, but but uh, but 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 in the in the regular menu, you can use your directional to go up and down and left and right, but you can't do that when typing letters. It makes no sense. <laughs> you have to go, and Louise also like that when you have to put in like your credit card information if you're going to download something. Yeah, that's annoying. That is annoying. You know the thing about it is imagine typing your credit card number like this and your address. I suppose because you can't add things to your instant queue. Yeah. If you go to Netflix.com. Well, that's how we have, that's how we used to have to do it before they put up the new the new channel. Because um, back when you had to put in a disc, you actually had to do it that way because they didn't have the search feature. So like you could add things to your queue by like uh, you know whatever whatever limited things they gave you in the new release section and things like that. But if you wanted to add something specific, you had to actually go on your computer and type it in. That's the way it was. Because I jumped on the bandwagon really early. I was I, To I was, your instant queue or to the things that get sent to your house? No, to your to the instant queue. But what I'm saying is when they had the disc, they didn't have the search feature. Hmm. So you had to do it that way on, on your computer is what I'm, is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I was uh, I jumped on in the first couple weeks that they did the, the disc. So I had the disc for months before they finally added the channel. I've only been, you know, flicking nets for about uh, for about a month or two now. I've actually been... I've actually, I, I, I saw this just the other day. Apparently, I've actually been with Netflix for four years now. I didn't realize that. Well before instant streaming. Anyway, sorry. Meanwhile, I have not. But I, I collect Dan Aykroyd stuff, and I collect Blues Brothers stuff. So I have the first four seasons of SNL, and I've watched this one. <laughs> because it's just so difficult to put yourself back then. It's like an interesting experiment. I recommend immersing yourself into another time period, and I recommend trying this. Um, as a side note, I would also say uh, feel free to do some research so you'll know what you're looking at. 
Yeah, that's eventually they'll say something, and within like the first fifteen minutes, you're like, "What was that about?" And then you can type it into a search engine and go, "Oh, that's who that guy is." Oh, I remember a president. Okay, he was the president. Then I'm gonna recommend and show Shitty. something from my uh, figure collection. Uh, this is something that Vince actually gave me um, for Christmas what two years ago. Somewhere in there. I think, yeah. Uh, and this is uh, Sam and Twitch. As a lot of you know, um, I'm a pretty, a pretty big uh, Spawn fan. This is uh, the Sam and Twitch from the Spawn Classics, uh, Cover Classics Collection, uh, number 25. And uh, this is, uh, um, in, the, in, the, in the package, this was Sam and Twitch 2. Uh, but anyway, um, this is, uh, I believe, I should have looked this up. I think this is from their... Uh, their Either one of their limited series or their monthly. I think it was maybe from the their their uh, regular ongoing they had for a little while. And um, this was this was a uh, one, if not the first cover. I think I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, uh, these are just really really fantastic, uh, highly highly detailed figures. Frankly, more like statues than figures. Um, yeah. You can't do a whole lot with them. They're um, there's not a whole lot of articulation because naturally they're um, you know they're they're meant to uh, look like a cover. And um, they did the the. Uh, McFarlane did that a lot with a lot of Spawn things, and I just love those. The idea of taking... I, I, I wish we did this more with other things. The idea of taking a cover and turning it into an action figure is such a cool idea. Hmm. Uh, I just I just love it. And um, I'm totally cool with figures that you can't do a whole lot with. I really like this guy's stand. Because <laughs> he doesn't have one. Yeah, it's cool. He's just sitting on, on his on his chair. And uh, and this is really heavy. Like, it it yeah. doesn't it doesn't feel plastic. Like, it's, it's super heavy. In fact, I'm not sure... Um, I'm not sure if these are just totally plastic. Well, they're, they're, well, they have to be. They're, they're action yeah. figures, but um, but but anyway, uh, not a whole lot to say about these. I mean, like I said, they are they are extremely detailed. Um, like I said, none of the uh, accessories or anything come out. So, like you know, um, Sam's Sam's got his cigarettes in his mouth, and then he's got one sticking out of his hand, and um, it's really cool. The only uh, the only thing I, I, I don't like is that um, if you're if you're not careful, it is really easy for some of these uh, little pieces to bend and to. And to, and to kind of stay bent, so you have to be really careful with them when you when you you know take them places, mm-hmm. which you know you're not gonna do that often. But I had to bring them here. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I never told you, but uh, when it came in the mail because I got these on eBay, that cigarette was broken and floating around in the. Uh, oh really? Did you box. blow it back in there? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah you, it took yeah, me you forever didn't tell me to that. sit there and figure out how to get that thing back in well, there. Actually, I really appreciate you doing that, Vince. Thanks. <laughs> I, I had I had no idea. It looks yeah. good. It yeah, does. Well, well done. It looks it looks great. I can fix things. <laughs> I think this is designed after uh, Bill Sinkowitz. Is that the guy's name? I don't know. The uh, I should have done my my homework before this. The reason I because I know it's from an issue I didn't I, I didn't I mean I know it's from something I didn't read because I mean I've read the main Spawn title and some other stuff but I never actually got into the Sam and Twitch stuff. Mm-hmm. Of course, I mean I like Sam and Twitch a lot from the regular series, but anyway. I think uh, Bill Sinkowitz. The thing that I got to know that guy from was. Uh, one of the two 80s Shadow series. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And uh, he picked up on, the, on one of their monthlies that only ran for a very short... Like, they didn't even finish out the Shadow series. Oh. They stopped it in mid-story. So they had, like, three story arcs and then half a story arc. And then they didn't even give you one of those crappy little finisher issues where they say, okay, we're going to end this story real quick with a five-minute wrap-up. They just, you know, say, sorry, guys, you're done. Kind of like they did with Dynamite Zorro. Dynamite. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. <laughs> but I think it is Bell Sinkowitz. I think it's interesting, because I saw those things, I thought, ooh, Shadow characters. Like, no, wait, that's Sam and Twitch. <laughs> well, and of course, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, Sam and Twitch are very Norish type characters, and... Um, and the Shadow could be, that's true. You know, they're they're uh, they're definitely in that in that kind of hard-boiled type vein. And, um... But uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, you know, I, I really recommend this if you have a Spawn collection. And these are probably uh, my second favorite figures in my Spawn collection, ne- next to my um, big giant um, Spawn with this huge cape and the bats. And um, but anyway, uh, that's all I've got. That's all you've got. That's all I've got. Well, this is all I got. Oh well, thanks a lot for watching us uh, recommend things, and uh, we'll show you something else again next time. I'm Captain Logan, and I'm Vince. Uh, did you have something to add? Were you gonna? <laughs> It's, Is all, it okay? it's all okay. He's like, oh man, do I have to glue that stupid cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> we hear click break Ben. You were just like, you're just like, and I'm Vince, and I was like, I'm waiting. <laughs> What's gonna happen? And I'm Vince reminding you to watch stuff. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.